So you've just worked your way through all seven protocols. You're ready to move on to what everybody wants to work on, the driver. Exactly, so what we've realized, we call it the pitch motion band, but through testing we found out that it's great for the driver, and I think we owe this to Darren Clark. Absolutely. Darren Clark's like, you know, Martin, I've been using it with my driver and it's fantastic. So we had a variety of pros use it, and it's, it's come back unanimous that they love the pitch motion band. We're calling it the pitch motion driver band, works great on the driver. The same feelings are in place. At a dress, we've got a little bit of tension, not much, just enough to give you structure at a dress. These feelings of learning how to keep this sense of width in the backswing, keeping some pressure on that band, getting the club head high, the arms in front of you. The opposite of what we see with a lot of people is a retracted trail arm and a pinned lead arm. So we want to feel like the club head's high, the arm's got some stretch, and now we can let a little tension, there's the relaxation, and it doesn't quite go soft, does it? Right, it doesn't. And it, you know, another point to, to really make sure, when you address the ball, Martin, I see just from people displaying their swings on, uh, on social media right now, some of the areas where we're still getting lost is this band gets away from the hands early in the backswing. We want to feel like the band is parallel to the grip for a good amount of time past position two before you start elevating. We get to a point here and we see a lot of that separation and there's that pie that right. we don't want to see because it creates a, a, a loss of tension. Absolutely. Of